channel. I'm Anthony TV. Look, do me a favor. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button for me. Like this video. Drop a comment if you got some comments. You already know I appreciate your support, man. So today, guys, um, you already seen the dry load. If you're not familiar with the whole food service game, so we got three sections on the trailer for the customers, right? Where the cases are stored. Uh, we got a dry section, cooler section, and behind the bulkhead doors, we have a freezer section. And those are pretty much the separation in terms of the cases being separated from each other. Um, that's how it's loaded on the trailers, right? So right now, I actually already took all the cooler off um, for this particular stop that I'm at. But I want to talk about stacking your cart today or your hand truck or your dolly, whichever term you want to use for this guy right here behind me. Right? Whatever term you want to use for it. Uh, but I want to talk about stacking today. So I'm just going to demonstrate some stacking techniques. Um, it's really basic stuff, real simple stuff, um, but it's something to note, especially for a new guy, when you load in your hand truck up, you always want to have a good base at the bottom, very important, so your, your stack don't get crushed, and so it can hold, you know, heavier weight um, as you loading the dolly up, right? So... Just gonna show you guys how I'm gonna stack these dry cases. Um, I may do freeze, I'm not sure yet, but I'm gonna show you how to stack these dry cases. Um, and just kinda show you what I'm talking about. Y'all stay tuned. All right guys, so this first stack here, I'm just stacking up all the bigger boxes right now. Um, I don't really stack anything else on top of these. It's just easier just to do it like this, even though it's only like four cases. You know, they're the bigger boxes. I just go ahead and run these in and come back and get another stack. All right, this next stack, you'll notice how I start my base out and I got two cases the same size um, and I think the next few cases will be the same uh, type of boxes it just makes it a lot easier um, if you got cases that are the same size um, you know length and everything basically the same cases just put them together it just makes it easier and then you just can stack on top of it So let's see what this stack look like. You see that from top to bottom? Not bad, that's how you want them to look. Let's get it off the truck. All right, so next is gonna be these cooking oils. If you have, you know, a few cooking oils, you can stack them like this, or you can turn them, you know, on the sides. I normally just stack mines like this. I don't uh, turn them sideways, um, but I mean, you could. But I like stacking mine like this. It's just um, it's easier to pull out from under them when you're dropping them, and um, it's just it's just an easier way for me to do it. I'm gonna throw a couple of sodas on top of here just to keep the stack sturdy. But there you have it for the cooking oils, man. All right, guys, so I decided to go ahead and record the freezer um, so you'll see what the stack looks like when I come out of the freezer. And this is my last stop. So that's why I'm kind of stopping in the front of the camera to show you guys what the stacks look like. 
Um, you know, I don't have any other stops after this. Um, and so, you know, I hope, especially some of you new guys, um, you're getting something from this. And, you know, that's my uh, that's my goal. So check this stack out once I come out of here and we'll get back to it. Check this stack out. This is another really good stack. You see how it's all stacked at the bottom from the top. Alright, so it's time to finish the rest of this dry. So I think I'm gonna go with the rice. So I'm gonna load up the rice and a little um, one case of sugar, and I'm gonna take that down and then come back and get the rest of the cases. Scan 
And that's all the cases for today, guys. Um, hope you got something from this. Remember, when you're stacking cases, new guys, uh, make sure you have a good foundation, right? That's the cases that you start with on the bottom. Make sure they're solid cases if you're lifting, you know, heavier items. Um, you know, and make sure if you can have your cases kind of match up in size and shape and things of that nature. It just helps, um, you know, once you get acclimated to how the stacking process works, you know, you don't always have to have your cases matching in size and shape and things of that nature. Once you get your experience level up, you know, you'll find ways to stack whether the case is kind of matching size or not. You can just pile it on, pile it on. But when you're starting out, you know, you may have to just do the basics. You know what I'm saying? Make sure everything matches and the sizes and stuff like that. And then as time go on, your speed will pick up. And then, um, you know, just knowing how to stack in general. You know, you'll really start picking up how to stack your cases, no matter the size, shape, anything like that and really be efficient and getting the cases off the trailer in a pretty quick time all right hope you guys got something from this video i'm getting ready to get out of here remember if you're new to the channel subscribe to the channel like this video drop a comment if you got some comments until next time i see you on the next one peace